little guy. Okay. You gotta make sure. <laughs> gotta make. Kazoon tight. Kazoon tight. Okay. What's up, you guys? I am. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Down. Down. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. What's up? <laughs> What's up, you guys? I am Cool Cat, coming to you live from the underground. No, I'm joking. I'm like, from the underground. Nice no, sight. You can see light. Okay, so pretty much just some thoughts I had streaming through my mind. Okay. Let's get started. First off, I was just thinking, thinking, thinking to myself about my past self, about my, who I was before getting here, right? For me, I'm 24 years old turning 25 and I'm a very spiritual person. I love exercise, meditation, working out, um, staying balanced and, tr and staying healthy, staying motivated. I come from a very depressed background where um, I didn't understand a lot of what I was going through during my spiritual awakening, right? And then as I started to wake up more and more, uh, I started to see that reality was completely different than what I originally thought. I used to be atheist. So for me to say this, <laughs> um, I did a full 180. Um, for me, I became... Um, oh, I'm sorry. But uh, I became... Uh, I used to be someone that didn't exercise, didn't work out. I thought all that stuff was, was stupid or not really stupid, but I didn't really, I didn't do it. So I didn't have an opinion. I didn't really have a thought. I used to scooter all the time. I used to skate. I come from that kind of background. Um, I dedicated my life literally to just scootering and skating and video games, League of Legends. And it was these things that like, that's, I put my heart and my soul into. That's all I cared about. I didn't give a fuck about school. I didn't give a fuck about grades. Uh, grading would come around. I had like a 2.8, right? Everyone's like, I have my 3.6. And then they throw a party. They give ice cream to everyone that has like a 3.0. Um, their pity party. And it's just, it's stupid. Because you're trying to make other kids feel bad for, for just like not giving a fuck about your bullshit system, right? I'm that person. I'm the adversary. I don't give a fuck about society or what it thinks. At this point, I used to give, I used to care so much about society, but at this point, I've worked on myself, I've worked on my mind. I understand who I am, and as well, I understand what society is trying to create of people. So, I am the opposition. I'm the ops. No, I'm just, I'm the opposition, the opposite force, though. I want to let, like, if you're, if you're trying to become a pro video gamer, right, go for it. If you're trying to be a streamer, go for it. You're trying to stream skating every day or you're into extreme sports or you're just going hard at whatever you're doing, music. Go for it. Fuck a traditional job. Fuck traditional anything. Be yourself. And that's the only way that you're going to become who you're meant to be is through being yourself, embracing your true self and your higher destiny, right? Back in high school, I'd see glimpses of who I was meant to become. I didn't know that it was who I was meant to become. But I'd always hear singing in my head. I'd always hear melodies. I'd always hear lyrics. Like, in a sense, I, I was creating them. I was thinking of them. It wasn't just uh, bands I heard, but I was, like, actually creating them. And I was getting a streamline of consciousness of my future self and who I was going to become and who I was meant to become. I know this now because in a similar way, Steve Vai, a, f a famous guitarist, very veteran in his craft even teaches alien guitar he is like alien guitar school or something like he calls it and i think that that's cool because for star seeds for for people who are different um and they don't really 
like we don't know ourselves really uh like not like other people because other people are just like they don't have as many lives they don't deal with the same energies that we do there's so much going on in our mind in our life uh, our reality is so much heavier or so much to it than a lot of people because of the genetic like the soul dna that we hold and who we are because many of us are gods that incarnated to to work our purpose to become who we are to change this world and help it to grow into what it's meant to become not what they're trying to create and by they i mean you can call it the government you can call it which the government means to govern your mind government govern mind mind means meant means something that creates so um when you when you embrace the government and those systems as well as school school is just the same thing as the government they're all just the physical version of the ego the ego is the thing that's trying to keep you safe keep you protected they like to make you feel protected right going to school every day wasting your fucking energy on their battery their uh black people are always slaves right I, I, I literally argue with people, I don't anymore, but I used to have to argue with people to tell them that school is not the best thing for us. And then they'd be like, but I have a 3.0, but uh, it's working for me, da, 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 this or that. Like, who gives a fuck? It's still built off slavery. It's still built off a slave foundation. It's not for us. Uh, one second, guys, I'm filming a video. Or one second, guys, I got a phone call. What's up, guys? Matrix always inter intervenes when I'm filming videos. Okay, so, but one, getting to the point, talked about myself, getting to the point. Um, lately, I've been, oh, so when I would feel um, that that wisdom, I'd feel like that, that, that whatever it might be coming to me and giving me these visions, like Bring Me the Horizon has a song called Visions. They saw everything happen for them as a band before it happened. And this is with whoever you are, you're seeing your reality before it happens. It's just coming to fruition at a later date because you need to work up to it and do the work. Everyone wants to think, oh, I'm this, I'm this person or I'm that person like from past lives or this or that. It doesn't matter if you're f who the fuck you are, just put in the work and you will become your own God. You will become the person that you're meant to become. It's just through putting the work. What do you see that you're meant to be? With me, it was always music. I destroyed myself at some point after high school. I started getting into drugs, doing this and doing that. I'm fully back now. Like I'm, sh it's been it's been years since I've done any of those things. But I destroyed myself and I I ruined not ruined but everything's meant. Everything was meant along my path. I've followed my divine will. Um. I'm, for me, I'm more demonic in nature or demonic in nature as a person. That's why, like, I like martial arts. I like music. I like heavy music and stuff like that. And in a similar way, when I see Bring Me the Horizon fulfilling their divine will, that makes. I was listening to so much music back then of those artists and those bands. They were people embracing their will, embracing their vibration, and what the universe is trying to show them. <clears throat> Look at any singer of a band that's a celebrity, right? Why are they a celebrity? Why does everyone want to be them? Be around them, this or that. There's some bands that, asking Alexandria, not even like, they didn't even try. They just did it. And then later on, um, one of the dudes in the band, I forgot who it was, but he used to like make fun of it. Like, like oh, we, who, we can't actually play music, this or that. But then they have intricate songs. Like, it might be basic, it might be simple, maybe, but they have intricate songs. Like, and the songwriting and the structure and the singing, the dude was making fun of himself, his own shadow. He couldn't see the, like, joy he was bringing to other people and how he was helping to liberate them and help them become who they were meant to become. He made fun of himself because he didn't even take himself serious. He took himself as a joke. And this is everyone in life. We all just take ourselves as a joke. We don't actually believe in ourselves. We believe I can go to college, I can graduate. Why do you believe that? Because it's so fucking easy. Because you don't actually try. You don't want to try in life.
because if you did want to try you'd embrace the the harder route it's not even harder you'd embrace the true route and the tr and the route the route that's meant the path that is meant for your soul embrace the path that's meant for your soul and that'll lead you to where you want to be you'll be happy you'll be abundant you'll be having fun work will be play but if you follow the school route it turns you into a slave that's what they want that's what that's why they're called the government to govern your mind that is why university it's called a university what the fuck is it teaching not the universe universe university universe city what does universe mean one song one song city there's no songs at university we are we are singing our own song we are our own universe we are our, we are in a cosmic play where we are embracing our energies why the fuck would i give a f why would i why the fuck would i want someone else to tell me what to do when i can do what i want to do what i meant to do everything that isn't your path is a distraction from you is a distraction from who you're meant to become that is why like it's it's similar to, like assassin's creed right Ezio is doing his mission but there's also side missions you can sidetrack yourself with so many side missions, you forget the main mission, the main point to why you incarnated, to why you came here. The, the thought that truly inspired this video was I was thinking back to high school when I would always see those images. I didn't know what the fuck it was, but I'd see those images. I'd see myself um on stage doing all these things and i didn't i didn't understand it. i didn't know what it was friends would want to be in bands i just said hey i, I can write for you guys if you want because i loved poetry i loved writing and that already showed my expression of what i meant to do my desire what i want to create what i desire to create i write all the time i write every day songs in my head i'm someone that I'm I'm entering into the metal scene as well, the rap scene, uh, as well as uh, MMA scene. There's many arenas in which I want to enter because I want to master them. I want to master myself and all of this is but a part of the journey. And through my mastery, I want to express that. I want to show others how to master themselves. And this is exactly what this channel is for self-mastery growth progression of the self and that's why i'm going to be adding exercise lectures um just different videos on gnosis and how you guys can progress as well what oh yeah so what made me think okay so i was thinking about back in high school when i'd see all these things and what i believe now is that there's a constant there's a slip it's called a slipstream slick stream you could call it of consciousness that is always entering our conscious that is always being downloaded and fed to us and kids kids are always having this consciousness fed to them because they're always imagining right they're always creating they don't give a fuck about taxes or society or what the fuck their parents even think of them they just want to create in their mind in their head play with blocks legos right we've never changed We've never changed other than the perception of growing up where they trick you into thinking that growing up is to work a job is to i want to do what mommy and daddy do when they when they're not at home i want to work like i want to work like because that's that's what society wants to push on you from a young age is to work 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 so that you have that mindset you hold on to it and you never stop so that you are always constantly building their pyramid what does society gain? What does society gain from us building our own pyramid? Nothing. We just we just in a sense gain contributors. They they gain contributors, you know, to like uh they get the Steve Jobs and the Wa and the um and the Bill Gates and like all these people that we just look to till the end of eternity and they just preach them. Oh, you in a sense like try to be like this person try to be like elon musk try to be this smart person or this smart person they hype smart people up to the point 
that we don't think that we can be smart because they're so different. They make them seem so different. Oh, they're just gifted naturally or this or that. Intelligence is your is your inner daemon. It is your true self. So if you're an intelligent person, that just means you have already awakened fully your consciousness and your inner daemon, your true self. And you have that with you as a voice guiding you. Elon Musk says he visually, he can physically see the reality he wants. Yes, he can physically see it with back. Anyone can with backed intention and awareness. We all live in reality. We all have a mind. We all have a third eye, a holographic projection matrix within our mind projecting reality. We just tap into that, use that, and we start to create the vision that we want, right? The vision that we desire. And that's what this this slipstream slipstream of consciousness is that's constantly entering through our minds or our brain and our brain is just a receiver your brain is uh like a phone right an iphone it it has so many gigabytes in it it's endless it can hold so much storage but at the same time it still has hardware which is our head our brain and if it has hardware the hardware can be damaged so if we hurt our brain, one, for some people, I, 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 I smacked my jaw into the ground, right? I damaged my hardware, my, my bones and shit like that. And that was a very painful experience, but I'm still here. I'm still here. So uh, gratefully, I'm still here so I can tell you guys about reality and what it truly is. Because once I had my near death, I smacked my fucking hardware into the, I, I smacked my jaw into the fucking ground. Um... I came back to life after uh, I blank I black screened or knocked out. I got knocked out and shit like that, and then I was able to, to awake from it. Um, and and no, by black screen I don't mean after death. It's just a black screen, and I was given a chance at life. I mean that where I was, I didn't fully pass, so I didn't even get to fully see what the spirit world was. I was just there. I was just there and then I heard in a sense some voices or I heard some whatever it might be. Um, and it, it like, I don't even know exactly what it is. It was a vibration, if anything. And it just told me to keep going, keep moving forward. And then I woke up and my jaw um, wasn't, it was just hurting painfully. Um, and that's also what makes me want to make these videos so much is because any day guys, we can die. I almost died five years ago. I was like 20 at the time, 21, 19, something like that. Um, but I stuck with it. And, and yeah, so like the strip stream of con strip stream, stream of consciousness is your higher self. It is your inner daemon, your guardian angel, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It is, uh, it is with you, giving you intelligence all of the time it is your higher self your higher self you can just view as yourself becoming in before incarnating into this matrix and this this game this soul simulation everything as real as we feel it is it's just being simulated through our soul you could literally say your soul is just in like a fucking black box and everything is just being holographically uh simulated around you and within you and that's what that's why we're not our thoughts. We are the observer. We think that we're this body, right? We're not the body. We are the mind. The mind is what created the body. So therefore we are the body, but that is not what we are. That is not our true essence or source. Our soul created our body and, and, and so on and stuff like that. Um, but this is the physical emanation of vibration of our higher self. If our higher self slowed down its vibration, it, this is what I am. This is what we are. We are just our higher self that is a physical incarnation of it. We, we have slowed our vibration down to the point that we've became physical as a soul. And we are now in this body or this bio navigation vessel. 
because all we are is just our biology uh, physically the physical emanation of our spirituality is our biology and our physical body and this is as well why mind body and soul is the trinity and is the balance get your body in order or first get your mind in order get your like get your mind in order get your body in order and then you can integrate your soul you could say light you can integrate your soul from having your mind and body in order that's why most people uh go like you know get mental health or this or that because they're not in balance that's the only thing it's not depression it's not it's not this or that which depression is deep rest depression so you it just means your soul is in deep rest when you're in depression when you're depressed it means your soul is asleep you're trying to wake it up that's why you go through a spiritual awakening because it wakes up your soul it wakes you up and that's why you have to go through a dark night of the soul at times is so that it can wake you up the dark night of the soul is meant to push you forward you go through pain and just like a diamond in the rough diamond is carbon our body is this is carbon right as we put carbon through immense pressure you could say physical heat um it turns into a diamond so as we put this this carbon this physical body through pressure emotional physical like emotional you're working on your mind you're trying to understand things um sometimes you even get heated when you're mad the emotions are physical right you're trying to transmute that physical energy and balance it so it can run through your system balanced and not di not displace things and instead of taking in negative energy and just like having it run through you of like other people's emotions or this or that you're able to transmute it with your energy and your higher vibration this is why we emanate and go back into our source this is why we become who we are and who we're meant to be all of this is just a part of the journey along the way guys and that's why that's why our higher self is always there giving us this information it's not as it doesn't yell at us it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't punch us in the face right what it does is it's a small voice in the back of our minds that is saying do this do that do push-ups today work out work on yourself that when we're freaking out when our ego's yelling at us the monkey mind won't st be silent or still it's the voice that's trying to calm us down it's the voice that's letting us know that everything will be okay and everything is all right as long as we put in the work and do the effort for it to get that way and that's the only way that we can actually embrace our our soul's light we can embrace these energies is by working on ourselves, working on our body physical body take that into concept working on our mind the mind all is mental or the mind is all universe is mental so our mind can affect our body how we think affects our physical emanation how we think affects how we act our emotions energy in motion how are you feeling how is your energy right all of these things um are an aspect of your source and who you are and that uh, as you integrate and you try to commune with this, this inner awareness and or your, you could say your God self, your inner source, and you connect to your source, your source will show you who you are and who you're meant to become. Just ask your source who you are. Go within, close your eyes. And then meditate, silence, and calm your mind. They can't silence and calm their mind, but silence and calm your mind. Silence and calm who you are. Let the ego subside. And then let your true, let your true self come forward. And then from that, as the observer, you decide what you will become. Do you want to become your true self and higher nature? Or do you want to stay the fucking peasant that you are? 
because you are a king you are a ruler of your reality your empire your astral space yourself you rule your kingdom first create your kingdom in your mind and then live it out in your life and with that I wish you an amazing day, family. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Um, I hope this video helped anybody. I know it did. I know it helped some people at least. And yeah, we're all rising, guys. So with that, have an amazing day. Cool cat. Ow. Peace. I'm out.